Hi, I'm Danny. I'm Jess. Welcome to our crib. <laughs> The best products and best service from people who really care and love what they do. Mountain State Overland is proudly supported by OK Four Wheel Drive. Why did you decide to get a trailer? We wanted to be able to, on a Friday, just hook up to the truck and drive out and, and just be out there going. That was just kind of to ease really the packing and the unpacking process. Yeah. Uh, we thought this would do that. It, it didn't. <laughs> so yeah. this is the first like off-road yeah yeah so yeah. we have taken it to a bunch of just paved road campgrounds and and did a week in shenandoah and this is our first time beating it up and getting it dirty and all uh -huh. that so yeah what do you go through first when you get to camp yeah so the first thing we need to do is unhitch uh that requires us cranking it up getting it shocked we get some stabilizers down once we get level, uh, stabilizers down, that's where we're at right now. The next thing to do is flip the roof rack, open up the, the top sides and they'll fold out. And then from there, it's a, you push a button and it'll, it'll inflate up and you're, you're set up. Stabilizers, leveling, chalking out the tires. Let's open this thing up. All right. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of like they've rehearsed this and it's like a go team. Like. Let's see how fast we can do it. Now, but you see a lot of the designs of, you know, bush trailers like this in Australia, which is where this thing is from, right? So the cool thing about this is it inflates. The frame inflates, they push a button, and it's like, voila. I haven't seen the inside of it yet, so I'm pretty excited about it. So it looks like what they're doing is they're taking the drip edges and they're folding those down over the corners here. So what now on the back side? On the back side, we have air valves. Okay. And there's five of them. So it's like an air mattress. Okay. Um, and we go through and close up all five. Okay. And we just leave them open when we're done, when we take it down. And this is obviously just a support for the back of it. Is this the bed? There's two beds. So this is one of two, and then the other one's up on is the front. Is this the doghouse bed? Is this where you sleep when you're in trouble? It's actually where the dogs usually sleep. Oh, literally so the doghouse So it's kind house. of, yes, the doghouse bed. Yeah, okay. Uh, how many times have you turned around and smacked your face on that luggage rack? Only once today so far. Oh really? Yeah. Only once today? Yeah, just today. <laughs> once. Ah. So one, two, three, four, five chambers, right? Correct. Okay. Will these struts support like a canoe or something like that too? Or? So we've done kayaks on it. Okay. Um, we did not have the best luck strapping them down. Uh, we got some flex in there. Uh -huh. I think at this point though, we are ready to- To inflate it. This. Sure. Very attractive panel here. What's going on here? Right. So this is kind of our power and our water level stuff. Um, so we can see this one's empty. Uh, we got two 20 gallon tanks here. So this will kind of give you an idea where you're at. This one is not full. Uh, is that on the front and then on the back? Or? Front and back. Okay. Uh, the back one you can run up to the kitchen. Okay. Uh, the front one is just for the kitchen. The back one we also have a uh, hot water tank. That, okay. we, that we have that we can hook it up to. Uh -huh. uh, and there's a little shower nozzle over there as well, okay. which we've not gotten to a point we need. We went with the propane heater. So the propane tank does have a heater inside, which keeps it pretty nice and toasty. Uh, there is a AC option for it as well, but you gotta be hooked up to 120. And that kind of seems to defeat the purpose yeah. of the off-grid trailer. So. Fridge, lights, water pumps, all that stuff. Okay. Yeah. Then, so there's a secret button behind there. We can't really see the camera right now, but are you, are you oh, gonna flip it? Gonna yeah, it. are I've you ready? So the hose in. tends to pop out, so we hold it in. Oh boy, oh boy, here we go. Do you have to guide it as the chambers are inflating or? It makes us feel better. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's not necessary. How serviceable are the chambers? Apparently you can, they are, you can uh, take them out, you can seal individual chambers off so if one gets punctured, uh -huh. you can still keep air in the system. So is there a bladder inside of a yeah. nylon chamber? All, all the tubing is zipped up. We get the inside set up. Let's see what the outside's all about. You got a kitchen on this. Got a like kitchen, a got a fridge. Kitchen. 
I bet you were really excited about this, right? Oh yeah, like, this, yeah. Yeah, the kitchen here has made it super easy to actually cook. Oh, that's some pretty nice, nice stuff. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so we've got four burners. Uh, there's a propane tank on the front of the trailer. Okay. Uh, and that's a propane source for the heater and for the stove burners. Nice uh, drying rack here. Got a little dry a rack. light too, right? We've got a light, so you actually take uh, this guy here and, and plug, plug it in, in right there. there. Yep. And it turns on the light and it, it gives a lot of good, uh, I don't know if we've got it turned on at the But you don't have to worry about it later. And then uh, we've got the water, which comes off the front tank, so. Sweet. Um, and fridge is in here. Fridge is in there. Okay. We strapped it down uh -huh. to make sure it didn't bounce out and take anything out while it was in there. Yeah, nice LEDs in here so that you can't see it right now, but nice LEDs to kind of help see where things are at. All right, shoes are off. <laughs> we have a king size bed back here. There's little extenders, uh -huh. so we can make the bed bigger, but we're short people, so it doesn't really matter. Um, this actually will turn into a third bed if we need it. Okay, excellent. We don't use the table a lot, but the table just slides in and we move the, the cushions around. This is the bed that we sleep in when we're camping and we don't have dogs with us. Radio, so we can Bluetooth music. We can turn on our base lights down here. Ooh. We have our heater over here, so, mm -hmm. so someone can just lean out of bed and turn on the heater and warm up. This storage is mostly uh, batteries. Yep. There's actually a toilet in here that's still in the wrappings that we've never used because it's far too close to the bed. Most places are, we have batteries, we have random stuff under here. We keep board games in here in case we get, you know, rained out and we just want to stay in here and hang out. Um, it keeps really warm, really. We only have to run the heater for about five minutes before we're good to go. We were camping in the hot summer months last year. It kept it really cool. Um, we also have like USB plugs, so we also have some fans that will turn on if it gets real hot. My most favorite thing about this camper is the kitchen. The kitchen, yeah. Mm -hmm. I love having four burners. It's, it's honestly kind of nicer than our kitchen at home. Uh, if I could change anything, I'd make the bed a little more comfortable. Oh, really? Yeah, we've thrown the thick sleeping bag on it. And when we're camping, when we need to pack up quickly, we use a sleeping bag. Um, most of the time we use sheets and things like that. But we've got the thick topper on it right now. It seems to be doing the trick. So we'll just need to get a, like a memory foam topper or something. Okay, well, thanks for the tour. Thanks. <laughs>